Good morning, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to a bright and early Monday morning, as you can see. And uh, welcome to a week in my life as an aeronautical engineering student who's finally in first year. Anyway, now this isn't actually my usual week, uh, this is actually busier than usual, but it's because of exactly that, that's why I need to film it. Anyway, on with the video. So what do you do on a bright and early Monday morning like this then? Well, I think I'm in the mood for some breakfast. time here, let's talk about some of the contents on my course then. For semester one, I have mechanical design, engineering mathematics, and engineering practice. So what do these actually mean then? Well, mechanical design is the module that teaches you how to do engineering drawings to a certain standard, a certain BS standard. I'm not actually joking, look it up, BS8888. Also, Mechanical Design is the module that teaches you how to use a lovely piece of software called SOLIDWORKS to do all your CAD work and stuff. Moving on, Engineering Mathematics. Well, the good news for me is I've already done this module before in the form of Engineering Mathematics in Semester 2 of Foundation Year. And it's basically A-level maths all over again, plus a bit of new stuff. And finally, Engineering Practice. Hmm, this is the module that supposedly teaches you how to be a professional engineer. Hmm, I'm not entirely sure that professional mixes well with me because I'm a bit too dumb and stupid for that. On top of that, this is also the module that tries to drill into your head all about things like sustainability, being ethical, whatever those mean, and basically everything that V12 Propel death traps are not. So, first things first, unlike the last time, surprise, surprise, I haven't got any work due in today. Yeah, that's good. But I've been an idiot over the weekend and I forgot to edit a video. Well, I managed to edit it first time, but I forgot to do second edit on the videos. It says no. Oh well, let's hope this one works. Uh, luck does not like me today, does it? Here we are. Drawing for whatever this thing is. Well, that session was something. It's now just gone one o'clock, and I feel like going for a spot of lunch, because why not? And just like that, been into town, got something fairly decent for lunch and uh, about to be running a few minutes late for four hours of lectures. Ah, ain't my Mondays beautiful? <laughs> Whew, that was a long three hours. It's just gone five o'clock. I have just finished all my lectures for today because uh, we were finishing early somehow. Uh, the lecturer just got through everything really quickly. So, I should be able to just go home and binge or whatever right now, but I'm not going to because I've still got that video to finish off. Render time remaining, about 16 years. Doesn't time fly when you're having fun? Turns out before I knew it, I've been in the library for three hours. Well, I, I know in a few months' time I'll probably think that video is rubbish, but still, it's perfect for now, and that is all I care about. So, it's getting late, it's quite cold, I'm getting hungry, but it's bugger off home and get some sleep time, and I'll see you tomorrow. Good morning, welcome to Tuesday morning, and welcome to the seaside of Brighton. So I'm here today just to get some fresh air because why not, it's 7am in the morning, a little bit bored, a little bit sick of poking the phone. So while I'm here then, let's very quickly talk about why do I even bother getting up at 4.40am in the morning, or try to get up at 4.40am in the morning. Two main reasons. First of all, is because of a problem that I've had for years, which is sometime about two or three hours after I'm up, I start to feel very drowsy. 
which is not very good in a 9am lesson, lecture, or even worse, a 9am exam. So to combat that, what I've done is shifted everything back by two or three hours, so that by breakfast time, I'll get all that drowsiness and stuff out of the way, I can go grab a coffee, things will be fixed. And the second reason is so I can get all the phone poking out of the way. So instead of having to get up at 7.40 and be ready by 9.40, I'd rather get up at 4.40 and be ready by 7.40. See the logic there? So, before I make this video an hour long, let's move on. Merrily strolling into uni, just turning up an hour early, so I can go in and edit this video. But I don't really care, besides I'm doing one of my dream jobs anyway. Uh, yeah, this is my dream side job thing, whatever. Next! Isn't it just such a wonderful place to work? Nice and quiet, nice and peaceful, and I get to look at all these wonderful toys. Speaking of these wonderful toys, I might come and do another video on these ones soon. Watch this space, guys. Watch this space. This wasn't here the last time I was in here, and I have a little feeling that this and this is written for me. Fast forward about an hour and a bit later, I have just had an engineering practice session. This time we're talking about some reports to write. And yes, that means homework of all things. And as for what the report is about, well that's about the projects that come with this module. This module comes with three projects to do. You have an ant weights project, you have a rocket car project, and finally you have engineers without borders. A few weeks ago we did an ant weights project which is Consider it as a uh, watered down robot wars, except the robots are very simple and made of cardboard. Welcome to engineering school, where the numbers are imaginary and so is your life. But the good news is, I'm done for lectures this week. This is where the fun begins, because now I have some social stuff to do. Oh yes, contrary to popular belief, I do have a social life, and yes, I do have friends. guys good morning and welcome to Wednesday morning my favorite day of most weeks you're thinking about it that does actually look creepy anyway last night I actually got back from the pub uh, a bit later than I was expecting and didn't really get to go to sleep until about one o'clock so this morning I supposedly have two things going on one being a math tutorial session which I'm not going to go to because I've already done the questions no problem and then there is a computer lab session basically let's go and have some fun on MATLAB It's now no longer Wednesday night, it is Thursday morning, and I'm gonna need to wrap this one up pretty quickly because TikTok, TikTok, I now have all of about three hours and 20 minutes sleep-ish remaining. So, the go-karting was really good. Thankfully, my arms don't feel like they are about to fall off. Right now, I need to get every minute I can of sleep. Good night.
Ain't that just the best view to start a video? Welcome to a very wet and cold Buckmore Park karting circuit somewhere in the southeast of England. You've joined me for the BUKC 2019 November test day. And in fact, this one is a slightly special one for me because it was exactly one year ago on this very day that I first got my hands on one of these Club 100 carts right here at Buckmore Park. So without further ado, we're going to find out after a year of BUKC if I have gotten more competence as a driver or have I just become a clown. Let's find out. spend a day off. It is now sometime in the evening, and as for what I'm going to be doing for the rest of the evening, well, I really don't know. Aside from taking a shower and probably having a very meat-heavy dinner, I'm not too sure. I'll probably just say, edit this video, and maybe if I'm in the mood for it, start a report that I'm planning to write over the weekend. I don't know. Good Friday morning. That was a really good and much needed lie-in. I uh, excuse the background noise, yesterday when I came off the cart, I was absolutely drenched. It was almost as if I went swimming instead of karting. So as soon as I came back it was slap all the clothes on the radiator and um, try and figure out how to dry the shoes out because those are the shoes I wear every day. Trust me, I'm an engineer. So, this is your problem. The problem is the shoes are wet. You need to dry them out very quickly overnight. Let's see what tools we have around then. Well, I have this tripod which I like to mount my phone onto so I can film stuff at home. And I have a fan which I brought back with me from Hong Kong. So, the next problem. How do I mount this fan onto the thing? Luckily, there are clips on the side of the fan. And finally, another problem. Well, the problem is I need this fan to run all night. What do I do? Well. I have enough of these things, so just get one of them out, plug it in, only into the 1 amp one so it will last all night instead of the 2.1 amp one which drains the battery pack in about an hour. So there you have it ladies and gentlemen, how to solve a problem 101. You first look at your problem, then you go looking around for the tools you'll be using, or tools you could use, then you start getting creative, and finally, boom. Put it all together and wait till your problem is solved. Hello, it is now Friday evening. I've just come back from an afternoon of driving lessons and as some of you know, I always love a good drive. Unfortunately though, for certain safety reasons, I couldn't film any of it. Sorry about that none of my control. Now, as for the rest of this evening then, I hear that there are some fireworks going off in a bit in a park not so far from where I live. Well, the fireworks were spectacular. 
and then I was suddenly in the mood for a Maggie's ice cream and little did I know that cup of ice cream came with a one and a half hour round trip. As you can see, it is now about half past ten at night. I know this is really early, I know, I know. Everybody else is out clubbing but me. I've just never been one from the nightlife myself, really. So, overall this week, I've had better weeks, I've had worse weeks. Somehow, recently, I've just been hit by waves of bad luck every now and then. I'm probably getting followed around by some demon or something like that, I don't know. But luck aside, hopefully you still somehow found this video informative or entertaining. Hopefully this has given you somewhat of an insight as to the life of a first year aeronautical engineering student in semester one. Again, hopefully you enjoyed this as much as I did. Hopefully you somehow found this informative or entertaining, and if you did, bang your thumbs up below, and for more of me pointing cameras at things that are big, fast and make lots of noise, give that cheeky little subscribe button a click. It's big, it's red, you can't miss it, and it's completely free. But otherwise, thank you very much for watching, thank you very much for staying on for this long, and I will see you again, alive and well, in the next video. Stay tuned.